All right, hello everybody. I am excited today to be reacting to the trailer. I know I'm like a two days late, day late, um, reacting to this trailer for a base. I've heard a few things about the map already. Um, I just haven't had a chance to actually watch the trailer um, or look at the mini map, but right now I got the trailer pulled up and after kind of look at the mini map and see, kind of gather some thoughts on it and see what might be stronger on this map, what might be kind of the meta picks, but all right, let's see. Uh, see how this trailer looks i will say actually i have high expectations for this map because i think we can all agree that the latest map rotation has been the worst map rotation probably since the game of valorant has come out so i th i have high expectations for this i'm hoping it's good it seemed like people had positive things to say but um let's see Got the gang That's here. And finish this. Quickly. Okay, I noticed that uh, Iso and Omen have Vandals. Clove has a Spectre. That's interesting. Okay, not sure what that has to do with the map, but that's Let's just show weird. them the meaning of fear. A lot of tight corners. If only the Spectre in game was this accurate, no one would have an issue. <laughs> yes. And they're holding something powerful. We secure this facility. We finally stand a chance at finding some real answers. Okay. They really have, they have the omen TP fake in here? Oh, stop, come on. That's well done. Very well done. Well, pro well produced, I like that. Right, Love that. <laughs> Whoa. Is that death down there? Well, one thing for me is I'm very excited to have my whole team miss that rope and all in, basically. But interesting, but interesting. I like These it. Texts you can fall from that. Ancient. How long have they been? Yo, the clothes walling. Are you kidding me? That's a report. They're good. We're better. Hmm. Oh, uh, is here. Yeah, this is going to be rough. This is I'm going to lose a lot of teammates to this jump. I'm going to lose a lot of teammates to this jump right here. I don't know about this. I have some concerns about the ledges. I, okay, it's cool. You can add, you know, fall off the map. I think that's some stuff that, like, Call of Duty had all that. And, you know, you can fall off the map. It's, it's interesting stuff. My issue with it is um, whenever you have this kind of thing, you have to... What's going to make someone fall off, right? Purely could be mechanics. Just someone just isn't good at controlling their mechanics, which is fine. You know, they may fall off that way. But it might also play into a champion's um, abilities. So, for instance, if I'm standing on this ledge and then breach ults, well, that's goodbye forever. 
right? Um, Brimstone, that's goodbye forever. I mean, even even breaches uh, aftershock. There's a few things that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, put some cipher trips here. Call it a day. <laughs> put some cipher trips. Someone goes to jump, they get caught up in the trip. They're done. Um. So, I like the ledges, but it's definitely gonna play into the hands of a few champions that'll make them pretty strong. Already, you can tell Omen's gonna be very strong on this map. You can just tell already. Based on TPs, gonna be very strong. Um, so, Omen, looking like Breach now, and that, this is at least the second ledge that you can fall off of, two-sided as well. So, that's gonna be hard. Cypher trips are gonna be very strong here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where on the map this is yet, but can't imagine it'll be so different or change flanks or anything like that. Um, or like a KJ need, depending on where it is, could be good. You know, things like that. Where? You know, that could be really strong in this map. So the ledges might get abused, stuff around it, but we'll see. Let's keep going. The monster is here. Hell of an angle. <laughs> wow. If that isn't the most accurate clip ever, the omen TP's behind him. The enemy somehow still doesn't notice. I mean, happens at all ranks. And then the omen misses the knife. Also happens at all ranks. That's amazing. I'm oh, happy that, that they put that in there. I'm happy they had him miss it. And then they also get to demonstrate that you can fall off the map on this ledge. So. Very interesting Monster. and accurate. <laughs> Coming to you. Oh, I saw baby. I had expected more. You reckon that's the end of them? The beginning of the end. All right. Who's ready for overtime? Who's ready? Nice, dude. Nice. Very cool. Oh, want some more? What is this? Okay. Got the mini map pulled up. Um, I'm very zoomed in. It looks a little blurry. Okay. So, actually, before we address the mini map, I like the map. I like the idea of falling off the ledge. I think that's a that's a smart idea. It it, it kind of spices up everything. You know, you play a little more strategic. It, it enhances. It, it makes things a lot more mechanical to a point. I mean, they're not far jumps. They don't look like they're super far jumps or hard jumps. But I know people are going to be falling off that. Um, and people are going to be trolling on the ledge, not letting people on or whatever. You know, whatever. But um, it's going to play a lot into abilities. For sure, like I said, so Omen's gonna be strong, but this TP is just getting around like that. It seemed like on the one portion where Omen fake TP'd, there was a bunch of high ledges he was clearing as well as the low, and then had to turn as well. Another high ledge low. A lot of angles you can play from here. Very interesting. Um, so I'm impressed with the map. Um, to the mini map, I just based on the mini map and the trailer alone, I haven't played on the map yet. It looks like a lot of tight corners. Um, really the longest... I mean, this is attacker side spawn, right? So, really, you might have someone holding an angle here aggressively. But besides that, you know, getting up here is going to be pretty free. It's not like you're going to have to fight for this um, real estate here. So, where are the long angles on the map? It seems like Phantom's going to be king here. Um... Here could be a a spot where people fight a lot for you know no reason. I feel like you know trip it off, call it a day. This doesn't seem. This maybe there's a little leverage here. Maybe a little nooks, a couple of nooks here. Um, seems like this is the longest point of the map. Maybe right here, if this can see if this is probably uh, upper right here, upper B, um, and coming from B main. So this is a pretty long. Long spot, and I don't think you can see all the way back here. This looks like upper, and then somewhere to fall as well. Um, 
So I don't... As of right now, it kind of looks like Phantom's going to be pretty strong on this map. Um, based on really how much you're going to be taking on long battles. Because, I mean, you smoke this off. You smoke this off up here. Smoke this off over here. And everything's going to be short angles, right? There's probably going to be someone left. Probably have a cross here. Um cross here maybe someone's playing up here drops down behind that's what it looks like it looks like these are upper levels um yeah i mean that looks pretty good if they get through mid it kind of seems like it's over right mid seems very strong because if you go through mid you're basically a full flank because it's just defender spawn back here so unless somebody's holding an angle back here which would be weird um, just to be sitting back here necessarily. Like, it's hard to say without necessarily playing on the map yet, but it looks like if someone's staying back here, that would be not an amazing idea. Um, so I think going through mid, if you get through mid, that's pretty much as strong as you're going to get for a push. Because, I mean, the split's pretty even. Then you really have nooks and crannies again. Um, it's pretty small. Everything's pretty narrow. Um, which means they're going to limit the amount of angles you can see at a time. Which is probably pretty helpful for attacker-sided. Um, a lot of places to lurk, too. But because it's more narrow, you might be able to get away with, you know, two people on site. Or even one person on site, a cipher on B, for example, you know, mid, mid, and two on A. Something like that could work a lot better with this narrow openings like this. B. For A side, let's see. Lobby in the main. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a few jets are holding this thing over the op. Uh, and dash away. Or maybe not even op, anything. J jets are probably holding it. Rainers are probably holding this angle. Um, same with this angle, but it's not as good, I'd say. This is kind of like the angle on Breeze, on A Breeze, when there's this box here, you peek over as everyone's running up the stairs. This could be a good angle to hold, for sure. This looks like this goes up here, so might counteract that a little bit, which which could be good. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of plays here from B. B seems to be... So A, you can attack from multiple angles, right? You have this mid, you get all the way through deep mid... It's a nice flank on a site. It's very strong, and then through mid as well. So you can have two split. You can have a split through mid to the same site, which is pretty good. And then main as well. So there's three ways to attack it. Obviously, you can go all the way around. That's a fourth way, sure. Um, but wow, it looks so far based on the trailer and the mini map. I want to say that it's extremely attack sided extremely attack sided but it being more narrow like this could give defenders an advantage um but it seems like i mean the double peaks are going to be so strong here get up on this ledge you know you know one goes here three go here one go one lurks maybe one lurks mid one lurks you know yeah probably through mid here once this is smoked off this is smoked off you have an easy way through um, yeah, you know, I think that's, that's a decent enough analysis without playing it for now. I would like to play it soon. It's pretty exciting to have a new map in the rotation. Like I said, I think we can all agree this has been the worst Valorant map rotation that we've played in, in a long time. At least it feels like that to me. Pretty much every game I play now is Breeze. And I don't like Breeze. I'm not sure many people that do like Breeze. There's no Fracture. There's no Haven. There's no Pearl. Um, I feel like I'm missing another one. But, I mean, Haven, Fracture, Pearl alone, those three gone. It's, you know, makes the game a lot less fun to play. I'm not a huge fan of Sunset. I'm not a huge fan of... I hate Breeze, genuinely. Um, um, Icebox, not a huge fan of it. So... Split's okay. Sun's okay. Um, but they, they took the... There's no, like, best and worst map this time. It's just, like, average and then terrible map. So, I think I have high expectations for this map. It looks good. 
for now, yeah, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. I think my final thoughts are going to be, I think Slifer is going to be strong. I think Breach is going to be strong. I think Brimstone's going to be strong. I mean, that's, that's ha you know, more than half the team right there. Um, Jet and Reyna are... Jet and Reyna, of course, are just versatile. I think they're going to be strong, though. Omen, of course. Oh, how did I forget Omen? Omen, Brimstone, Breach, Cypher. Very strong, I think. Um, from there, not too sure, but I think those four are going to be very, very strong. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I am ready to play the map. I have seen other people playing the map, a lot of uh, creators playing the map already. It seemed like they were having fun. I haven't actually sat down to watch a lot of it yet, um, but I would like to soon. Get, maybe get some more well-rounded opinions, but based on what I've seen so far, I think that I've got the map kind of to a T for now. But we'll see. Once we, you know, once we get to play it, you know, I, I appreciate you guys checking this out, and hopefully you're as excited as I am to get a new map in the rotation. And let's get Breeze out of here. I don't remember which one they're taking out, but keep a set, keep split, put this in here. I would love Pearl back finally after 10 years or Haven. Give us a good map back. Hopefully this is, you know, going to fulfill that. But without further ado, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.